point of emphasis in this offseason that didn't score enough last year. Third lowest scorers in the league. And here's Gressel. That's a lovely through ball and a lovely finish as well. Superbly done. It's Alessandro Schoff with his first MLS goal. This is the moment where Vancouver started to struggle in the previous match. They started to mentally, maybe not as sharp, gave up chances. Terra serving it in, and there's the equalizer! And right on cue, Kobe. Jeremy Bobasi. Wonderful service, and an even better header from him. The son of Greg Berhalter going to come on. Last year, we have seen into his second year with Vancouver, had that one year, and he replaces the goal scorer, Schoff. Run. He's found onto a Bobasi. Espinosa along the line. And Capo has scored. What a welcome to San Jose for Carlos Acapo. It was wonderfully worked for the earthquakes. To set up a late equalizer and deny Austin a win. So that was only back in early October. As Driussi tries to wind his way through midfield territory, great layoff for Gallagher, and John Gallagher is offside, and it's not going to count. See, Gallagher is in, a, in an offside position by, by about a yard, so I think it's the good call by the assistant referee. Rip-roaring form at the start of this new campaign for Austin, already has two goals and an assist. Does he have another goal? Well, it's going to be determined by a trip oh, there. I mean, there's no part of Gallagher that can score a goal that is ahead of the last defender there as that ball leaves the foot. Pretty clear cut, doesn't it? It's a goal. John Gallagher has done it. Delayed celebration, but it won't dim the volume at all. Early breakthrough for the Verde and Black, just what they needed. Needs to change. Drews, he can change everything, though, all by himself. Not this time, though. Credit Acosta, that was great work. By the Honduran, and not a bad pass either. It has Barrios on the move. Barrios against Ring goes around him easily. Barrios back to Cabral, and there's the equalizer. Well, you can't say it hasn't been coming. The two substitutes combining to deadly effects, and Kevin Cabral, welcome to Colorado. Second goal of the season to go with two assists and to give San Jose an early lead. Steve Clark trying to stop him. Espinoza against Clark, and Espinoza wins the battle. And San Jose draw first blood. JT Marcinkowski trying to stop him. It's Bassi straight down the middle. Marcinkowski. Diving away to his left, Amin Bassi can't stop scoring penalties. And the Dynamo are back in business. Early on in the first half, will he go in the same direction this time? Espinosa went the other way, so did Clark. But nothing he could do about it, and San Jose are back in front. You know, that's what, in the modern game, this is it, having those outside backs that join in the attack. Yeah. Brody had a spectacular season last year, didn't he? Ben Bender had a pretty good one himself for Charlotte. He's on the move here. And that's a, a fantastic strike! Karol Sridersky showing all his international pedigree there. The pole pounces. And Charlotte cash in. And that's allowing them to create those chances and to get numbers into the box. Brody trying to find more numbers. Pablo Ruiz! Yes! Finally! Oh my word, what a strike! Pablo Ruiz! A simply 
sensational efforts. Brody. Such a strong runner on the ball, isn't he? The right back, Gomez, trying to curl it around the back. Anderson, Julio! The dam has well and truly broken. And RSL at full flow. From Melanda just to get back into a defensive position. He's caught on the wrong side, but catches back up. Savarino has opened it up here for Gomez. Gomez to Savarino! It is three! And it is raining goals. The drought is officially over. Three goals in about seven minutes here. May well have just turned this season around. Tevez, who grew up in Honolulu, coming on. There's a fourth appearance. The shot is on, and the breakthrough for Seattle! It's Ruslak who rises to the occasion. Well, Minnesota's resistance finally crumbles, and the Sounders strike here at Lumen Field. Connor Ronan for the Rapids, and it's 1-0. Dispatched with a high degree of confidence. Placed perfectly by Connor Ronan, who places the Rapids into the lead. Iso is an impressive first half. McGlynn, lovely languid running style of his. It's on to Bedoya, promise here for the Union. Carranza looking to turn, lays it off. Oh, what a shot! And what a goal! Kai Wagner! A goal of the very highest quality. Raw power from the German left. The Union very closely would, uh, would claim that Jack McGlynn is perhaps the best passer of the ball in the club. That's good evidence of that as he strings. Baizo forward, Baizo's cut back to Carranza. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. The Philadelphia Union at full flow there. Swiftly and deadly to the feet of Julian Carranza. How much stoppage time? Not that much, four minutes. Lundqvist, good turn, good cross as well. Still up for taking, and now back off the bar, and Sardes! Giassi Sardes! All of a sudden, is the new Verde a black hero? It's another big switch to Rosenbry. How many times we've seen that already? This time, Rosenbry, well, he had the beating of Barriol, and he went back to try and beat him for a second time. And now, Obina. with Badgie outside, chance here for Cincinnati, and chance taken! A ruthless counter-attack, and Dominic Badgie has come back to haunt the Rapids. His first goal of the season, and what a place and a time to get it. Yeah, and I think a lot of the experience of this man and the lad is, is going to be very beneficial to Beavers and Gold. When you're a young player, 18 years old, just kind of figuring out, it's good to have that experience to someone that knows this league. Awful sense ball, and it's 1-0. Just like that. Fantastic cross, and it's Rubio Rubin. So long without a goal for him, and that barren streak has ended. Now then, Rubin has the game's only goal. Looking to add to it. Tees up Chang. Really smart stay by Stuber, perhaps keeps his team in this one. A follow-up, still there for the taking, and it is two! And it's Rubin again! Well, when it rains, it pours, that's the theme of the night for Rubio Rubin. Rigoni, and Cascante has scored! It may be too little too late.
And he's been threatening to do that. Austin had very few chances, but they buried them. This is the best spell of the game thus far for the visitors. Reynoso directing traffic, lovely. Slipped inside ball for DJ Taylor. And Steve Clark had to react. That shot was goal bad. Longwane buries it. And the Loons have lift off in Houston. Longwane, the top scorer of the South African, who's really shone this season. Some more sizzle from him. Houston without uh, Coco Karaskia, who's goal cup action now. Puki is on his way. Timo Puki! Oh! Well, there's your world class finishing ability out of nothing. Welcome to MLS. The Flying Finn is off and running. And the Loons have powered into a 2 0 lead. Now Garcia has a one-on-one -on -one matchup here against Escobar and help arriving to Jajori Shreddy to his right. Longwani to his left, who's open, could finish it here. Longwani denied, and Jajori Shreddy is there to finish it off and finish the Dynamo off in the process. Minnesota United's two big mid-season signings. Scoring chance this season for the first time. He's had to look up at John Gallagher for most of the season in that department. Fagundes, Gallagher measuring the cross, Zardes, wide open, rebound, goal, Giassi Zardes, he's too hot to handle on the moment in Q2, and Zardes pounces again. A barren two months, it looked like uh, the goals are never going to go in, and all of a sudden the dam breaks. Now a little clip over the top for Wolf and Finley! It's 2 now. Ethan Finley is feeling it! Austin have come alive! That's to win three straight home games in MLS. They also never had three consecutive clean sheets. Kansas City trying to take it away, and they have done! Just like that, the clean sheet is gone, and Sporting Kansas City right back in business. Danny Rosero storming in to meet it. Austin can see from a corner again. It's been their Achilles heel, and it provides an instant lifeline here for the visitors. The Austin FC2 team has been uh, doing really well in MLS Next Pro, the second top in the, in the West of Ireland. Some of those players uh, chomping at the bit for a chance in the first team as uh, Cascante dives in. Coleman picking up the loose ball. Coleman did so well! Josue Coleman has been the danger man right from the word go here for Mazatlan. And he has stunned Q2 Stadium with a glorious opening goal in the League's Cup. It's for Gundes against Gutierrez! Fabulous penalty! What a strike! Twelve yards out, zero problems for Diego Fagundes. Diego Fagundes, who'd had a trying start to the season, come good of late with a couple of goals in MLS. Austin having to defend again immediately. And the shot from distance, it's 2-1! Just like that! Mazatlan, in the blink of an eye, have produced another stunning strike. And now, Amaria. Danger here for Austin as Luis Amaria suddenly uh, finds himself on the move. Defensive cover arriving. Bayo can turn here. Bayo! It's 3 1, but he's offside. And it is still only 2 1, and Austin stay alive thanks to the flag. He's given the goal, doesn't even, even need to go and look at it, and the celebrations, I don't know if many in the stadium have realised it, but the referee pointing to the spot, and I think they've got that right. Still not quite sure how he, how he squeezed that ball in beyond Brad Stuver. Sixth corner already for Juarez, all along the uh, face of goal, and tucked in! 
And it is Juarez who have the reward for all their early pressure. It's Amari Escoto, who was in the right place at the right time. In the corner kick routine. And Paul Coleman's delivery, Ake Loba is there, and Mazatlan have pounced early in the second half again, just as they did on Friday night. Almost identical, in fact. Scored in the 48th minute against Austin, and they've done it here to equalise against Juarez. Certainly, uh, the cohesion is there in abundance tonight. It's a lovely pass from Owen Wolf. It's released. Finley can Finley finish here? Ethan Finley can! And now. Austin do have their reward. He's the man who's been making it happen of late for the Verde and Black, and he's done it again. Ethan Finlay, but what a pass from Owen Wolf to release him. The score from a corner at this end on Tuesday night. What can they do for the free kick? It's all along the ground, and it's gone in. Well, that's what they can do. Was there a touch? Brad Stuver saying there was. It seemed as though Stuver was unsighted, unable to react. And the ball went all the way along the ground and crept in at the far post. Bouquet, nicely done, skipped around Lima. Fagundes there to meet him, Bouquet continuing his run and uh, Rodriguez joining the build-up. Up against Gallagher, Rodriguez. Deflected off of Gallagher and it's 2-1! And this time, Aito Garcia was not to be denied. Well, Austin had been warned, you can't leave him alone. They left him alone again. Didn't get a clean shot away. And there's all sorts of space. Where is the Austin midfield? Is the question Danny Pereira trying to answer that question by herring back, but they were caught out there. It's four against four still for Juarez. Aito Garcia can... Set himself up for another shot, and it's 3-1! And Austin only have themselves to blame. They were left woefully short at the back, and Aitor Garcia is just too good. You can't give him that much space and time, or he will punish you. And he's now done it twice. Ivicic trying to stop him. Nobody has yet. Can Ivicic buck the trend here? It's Bassi right down the middle this time. Business as usual for Ramin Bassi. And the Dynamo get their noses in front early at Shell Energy Stadium. Well, careless again from Claudio Bravo. It's been a, an awkward start for the Poland defense. This is Karaskia on to bed. Koko Karaskia, who has lots of eyes trained on him at the moment. His cross for Herrera, and 2-0! It's Quinones! Oh, the Dynamo cashing in and making the Timbers pay for their sloppy defensive start. Well, Corey Baird with the flag thing down again, and it's 3-0! Quite remarkable, the quick restart. The Timbers were asleep again. And Corey Baird was the player to cash in. He had himself a great League's Cup campaign, and he's back amongst the goals in MLS 2. Costing his team on both occasions. A little combination with Baird. Is it going to be four? Escobar, it is four. Well, they're making it look so easy, aren't they? The Houston Dynamo. Uh, simply obliterating the Timbers defence as if it wasn't there. For most teams, 11 games left in the regular season. There's Brad Smith storming for. What a run by him. Smith! Oh! oh! How about that for an introduction to the game? Oh, my. <laughs> When you are hot, you are hot. And, and this Houston Dynamo team is, it seems like they can do no wrong. This season so far, Jamie, we've had three different goalkeepers have all played more than five starts. Sporting Kansas City. They've got Melia back. And now they got Russell delivering. Oh, yes! Shall we? With the final touch. 
and Spalding are off to a sprinting start yet again. One of the quickest starting teams in the whole league. Staying true to form. Toledo to Russell, all a little tight, but here's Tommy providing an outlet. Getting back into traffic. Russell, oh, it's lovely. Johnny Russell! Ankle, what ankle? He doesn't feel pain, and it's nothing but pleasure for the sporty Kansas City fans who do double their advantage here. As we try to get San Jose above the home playoff line. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Tommy works his way forward. Oh, rips one. Eric Tommy. Ambitious and delicious. How about that from the German? And that could be very much the icing on the three points for Sporting Kansas City. Weeks. First corner of the night for the visitors. Galt, who else with it? And an open header and a goal. And it's Brian White. And it's the Brian and Ryan show again. White and Gold. Nothing short of spectacular. And Vancouver surge in front. He will look to go on the end of this. Be decent free kick opportunity. Vera with it, whipping it in. Oh, he's done it. Well, Brian Vera tried one from about 70 yards in the first half, Kobe. This was a lot closer, but it was still some way out. Arango with the Rabona move. Nicely done by Gomez and Justin Glad. Oh, Glad sacrifices himself on this one. It seemed easy for him to put the ball on the net this year, as he's mentioned. A bit more difficult. His ring, helping it on. Little dink in and will Brown! Seattle Sounders for the last few years, his first year here. Starts have been hard for him to come by as Gallagher delivers across it. Falls invitingly to ring. A good pick his spot, Driussi! And he picks his spot too! And Austin have to! All the time in the world! Getting some of those decent crosses into dangerous areas. See out shooting the home team so far, but here's the Austin corner and a header down and in, and it's Matt Hedges. Can Velasco uh, dial up here? The Argentine. Right foot it, yes! A diamond strike for the best under-22 player in MLS. And he just showed why he's number one. What a start, Kobe, for them. Emma Tumasi doubling their advantage. Yeah, and this seems to put Dallas in a pretty comfortable position with the 2-0 lead early on. And it's 1-0 San Jose right on cue. And it's Christian Espinosa. He'd been fully two months without a goal. He picked the right night to end that mini drought. Oh, that's a beauty. That, that's, that is typical Johnny Russell play right there. Just pulling it in, getting it on that left foot, striking it into the far post. And now a glancing oh. header. Oh, oh, and Austin my. a level. It's Owen Wolf with just his second goal of the season. Beautiful header from the 18-year-old, curling into the top corner.